no good deed goes unpunished. We set goals. It may be dollars. It may be pounds. That's a favorite this time of year. It may be elapsed time in your race car. But whatever it is, we organize our life's resources to chip away at getting from here to there. A standard training dynamic is to reward the student when the student reaches certain milestones. That, according to all of my behavioral psych education, is important at keeping the student motivated. We give the piano student, for example, candy for successfully performing a difficult tune. Perhaps we even reward ourselves from time to time with a nice 18-year-old single malt scotch for surviving a tough negotiating day in the office, or maybe a cold beer after finishing mowing the yard in late August. Or maybe a Sunday drive in the countryside after finishing up a chapter in that book we're writing. All of us, at one time or another, have been rewarded or even rewarded ourselves in some fashion for moving the needle from here to there. Well, here's the problem I see. If the reward is some form of letting me coast on my journey, letting me off the hook, it's actually counterproductive. If I want to lose 20 pounds, there are numerous diets that attempt to keep the subject on target by allowing them to relax every once in a while, take a day off, have that piece of chocolate cake, two even. This seems oxymoronic to me. I learned this as I involved myself with Weight Watchers online. Depending on your starting weight, your goal weight, and your activity level, Weight Watchers assigns certain points for you to consume. When I started off with something like 35 points, I admitted it was a little challenge to get into the points tracking, but their phone app helps me do that. I do it on a daily basis. And quite quickly, I dropped five pounds. Yes! I think I'll celebrate by taking Margaret out to a nice Italian dinner. But wait! My points requirements at Weight Watchers just dropped from 35 to 34. It's now, these days, down under 30. You mean my reward for hitting a milestone is to celebrate less, eat less? Yes. The bar, as they say, is raised. And isn't it that way for all goals? If I want to perfect an athletic skill, and after four weeks I finally hit 95 out of 100 free throws, can I honestly believe I will do that goal any good by taking two days off? The whole reward system is an exchange of meeting some momentary emotional need for that long-term goal. I've discovered that if I have to reward myself for some milestone, then said reward can have nothing to do with the behavior I'm trying to modify. For Weight Watchers, my reward has been the purchase of sequentially smaller wardrobes. Not that Ted Drew's forbidden chocolate chocolate chip concrete, which, by the way, is approximately 28 Weight Watchers points all on its own. Raise your bar. Don't make your reward an excuse to slip back. Keep the goal out front and find some other way to meet that momentary emotional need. Pat yourself on the back. You do deserve it. I'm Kim DeMott, corporate co-driver, and this is another moment of clarity. Mm.